What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a what I ate today video. This is what I eat to stay eczema free. The only differentiation of today's video or special thing about it is that I'm gonna be showing you guys my cyclical carb cycling approach, which means today is my carb refeed day. And for those of you who know me, know I like to keep my carbs on a daily basis at around 100 grams or less. In today's video, I'm gonna be going really high. How high will I go? I guess we'll find out at the end of the video where I'm gonna share with you guys my calories and my macros and my grams of carbs. So stay tuned. So I don't always do cyclical carb cycling and what cyclical carb cycling is is that once per week I allow my carbs to go to an unlimited place. My carbohydrate intake comes generally from sweet potatoes, normal potatoes, fruit, and squash. All of these foods have been tested for decades for me personally with my gut biome, with my biomarker feedback, and they are a part of my customized system. So before you guys get into a lot of questions about are potatoes okay for healing psoriasis and eczema and dermatitis, for me, potatoes have been a staple food for the entire healing process. The key ingredient is that I've gone through the customization process and I know exactly what works for me and what does not. So you may be asking yourself, why do I personally do cyclical carb cycling? And it's very, very simple. When I am on a strictly high fat, low carb diet, I have trouble holding on to body weight. I get lean and lean and leaner and leaner and once the weight loss starts, it takes a lot of calories for me to maintain a healthy, robust body weight. I'm very active and so I burn a lot of fuel. Adding carbs makes it super easy for me to gain a little bit of weight in a bulking phase or maintain my healthy body weight while being able to be extremely active in the way that I like to. Also, part of my customization process is the right amount of carbs on a daily, weekly basis improves all of my biofeedback, better digestion, better hormones, better everything. So being dynamic with my diet and having one day per week right now where I let my carbs be unlimited is what I'm about to show you and here's what it looks like. So here in meal one, I'm just going straight, boring, with a really interesting contraption my friend has. I'm just peeling apples and eating them. This is actually how you make apple pie. Not that I'm gonna be eating any apple pie today, but this little device is how you spiralize an apple and take out the middle. I just wanted to show you guys, I, I did eat one apple spiralized and you know, I'd rather just eat an apple normal. I ended up eating around five apples for breakfast. Um, I just started eating them and they tasted delicious so I kept going until I was satisfied and full. That happened at around 9 a.m. in the morning and then I went and did a little work and then I had a workout and here is my next meal. So this lunch came after my workout and I can tell you that this combination of food is an absolute delicacy. Not only is eating like this super clean and perfect for my overall gut biome, my hormones and my skin, but it actually tastes really good and is a reason why I'm able to stay so consistent with my healthy diet. So this dish is basically mashed potatoes made with grass-fed butter and salt, very straightforward with my homemade I guess you would call it kind of a meatloaf, but what it is, it's a combination of organ meats with ground beef made into a little bit of a meatloaf. It's got some cranberries in there. Um, it's got a little bit of bone broth in there and got some butter in there and that's it. Doesn't have any bread crumbles or anything like that. So this meal is super basic. We have my liver meatloaf and we have mashed potatoes um, in a pretty large amount. About two potatoes, I think and probably about a pound of meat is in this dish. So if you guys would like my recipe for the liver slash ground beef 
uh, meatloaf, leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to make an Instagram or even put the recipe in the next video if you'd like it. It does taste absolutely amazing. It's like Thanksgiving. So meal number three came from a restaurant and I don't typically do this, but I also wanted to show you guys what happens in the real world when you are out of great choices. I had no steak, I had no ground beef, nothing on hand, and I had a very short time frame, so I did have to order some steaks, and I ordered them from Outback Steakhouse, which is not a super high quality place. Now, being fully transparent, this meal, if I was in my healing phase, if I was still trying to overcome skin disease, I would probably skip. Why? Because it has like a kind of a spicy rub on it, which uh, I could cut off, but for me, um, it's totally okay. Typically, you can get away with ordering steaks from restaurants if you make sure that they don't have any rub on them, no spices, and it's just salt and butter and maybe olive oil as a, a way to soften it. And if you can find that with meat, you can generally order steak from anywhere you want. Now, it's not gonna be as high quality as a grass-fed steak, but sometimes there's the ideal and sometimes the real, and sometimes doing the real will allow you to survive till the next day. So out of all of my meals um, for the day, this is the most neutral or I would say, I wouldn't call it a cheat necessarily, but it's something that I would not repeat on a regular basis. But it did taste good, um, and as you saw, I tried to eat a little bit of that salad, and the Caesar salad, I just wanted to taste it. it tasted like shit. But that was two 11 ounce sirloins, so that's 20 ounces of steak that I ate for that meal. So, my last meal of the day was uh, a complete indulgence of carbohydrates and fat. I really do enjoy my last meal of the day being carb heavy. Sometimes I notice that I sleep really well when I do this. There are advantages to taking your carbs early in the day for some people though too. So experimenting with that can produce different results. Here's what I notice. When I take in my carbohydrates, whether I'm on a low carb day or a day like this where I'm doing unlimited, if I take my carbohydrates in in the morning, I tend to have better, stronger workouts and a little bit more consistent energy throughout the day. Whereas if I save a big carb bomb for the end of the day, like today, I think this is gonna be something like 200 grams of carbs or 150 grams of carbs in this single meal um, and close to 1,000 calories with the added fat from the butter, the grass-fed butter in it. Um, what I notice is when I eat this type of meal, later as my last meal, I sleep really, really well. Full belly that's already been digested. I have all the nutrients. My calories are completely topped off. And that's an important thing for some of you guys to think about. One of the errors I see with my clients all the time is they undereat. I know for me personally, undereating maybe will feel okay for a day or two, but come day three, four, and beyond, it starts to create digestional issues, it starts to create energetic issues, it starts to create hormonal issues, and it starts to create major sleep issues for me personally. So eating the right amount of calories and getting satiated on a daily basis is one of my priorities. Sure doesn't look like much, but uh, potatoes mashed with five tablespoons of grass-fed butter and um, kind of an attempt at some gravy, but really it's just sour cream and bone marrow. Okay, so as I said at the beginning of the video, let's take a look at the macros, what this day actually looks like from a caloric standpoint and from a macro standpoint. How much protein did I take in? How many grams of carbs? How many fat grams? And what was the percentages of my macro breakdown? We're going to look at that right now. All right, first things first, let's look at calories and macros. So my overall daily calories for today was 3,869, which is a good number for me. That helps me maintain healthy body weight and to be muscular and feel very virile and, and strong and just healthy. Um, when I dip below that, or when I get down into the 2000s or below, I just don't feel very good. Now, typically my macros look nothing like this, but like I said, this is a cyclical carb cycling day, so they're gonna be completely different than normal. As you can see, my protein percentage is 25%, my carbs percentage is 30%, and my fat percentage is 46%. On a daily basis, typically my fat percentage is up around 60, um, and my carb percentage is around 10 or less with the rest coming from protein. So compared to a normal day, a huge difference calorically um, and macro wise. 
All right, let's have a closer look at the grams consumed for the day. So obviously we're at 3,868 calories. That consists of 233 grams of protein, nice and high. Carbs, 300 grams of carbs for the day. Typically I'm at 100 or under. And for fat, 197. Generally I'm around a 230 to 240 mark. And that is my full day of macros, calories, and grams of everything. And that's going to do it today, guys. That was my day of cyclical carb cycling with an unlimited carb day. As you saw, I ate a lot of carbs and I feel absolutely amazing. It's all a part of the customized dietary system using the biomarker feedback, which you can find how to do all of that in all of the links down in the description box. We have the six week course, we have one-on-one -on -one coaching, we have Skinessa, we have all sorts of stuff down there. If you're having issues with your skin and you're not able to heal yourself, just go down in the description box, click any of the links, and we'd be happy to help you. Guys, remember to subscribe, remember to share, hit that notification bell if you are enjoying this content, and I will be back with many more videos really soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.